where were we? So we had to find evidence that Sal was cheating on Francesca so that we could get information on who mugged us. And she pointed us in the direction of a mutant named Pug. But I don't know where Pug is. I probably wouldn't have remembered that if I hadn't just edited that episode a couple days ago. Because <laughs> it's been a while since we last recorded this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all of this is going to get cut out of the video. Well, Pug and I used to hang out sometimes, but I haven't seen him for a while. I heard he's gotten a job of some kind. He doesn't work very often, and he usually sleeps in a box down by the Snow White warehouse. Okay, now he's going to be there. Following Beak's instructions, I hang around the warehouse. Not long after, a gust of wind carries a horrible stench into my nasal passages. I turn and see a shadowy figure waddle into the alley. The way you look at me, it makes me nervous. <laughs> King of Pain! I want to know what that is. It should. When I'm done with you, you'll find breathing more painful than you ever imagined. I think you should think twice before threatening me. A <laughs> violent with a t culinary twist. I think you should talk to me while you've still got teeth. And talk faster. I can't take the sound of your voice much longer. The way you're threatened has caused me to whip myself. Why are you treating me like I'm some kind of criminal? I don't know, because you are one. You're a cynical person, if you'll forgive my saying so. <laughs> yeah. What are we even doing here? <laughs> yep, yeah, that's me. Someone? Cynical PI with a loaded gun and no wallet. Here's your wallet. You will see I have spent very little of your money. Tell me, how did you find me? I'll ask the questions. Why were you following me? I was hired to follow you. I provide people with information through ways of my own. <laughs> people actually hire you? <laughs> Who's the sap that had you following me? I was hired by an old PI who called himself the Colonel. He paid me to follow you and report back on everyone I saw you talk to. He also wanted me to tell him if I saw you with a little statue of a bird. He told me very little. Betrayal. He said that he had to find out if you could be trusted. There. I have told you everything I know. Now let me go, and I shall not bother you again. Okay. What's that, uh, like, classic movie, like, sleaze? like sleaze ball kind of in bogart movies no clue the colonel was my mentor in the detective biz when i was a young idealistic crime fighter i didn't understand some of the colonel's unethical pi methods i reported the colonel to the pi licensing board and his license was temporarily revoked in the years since i've come to understand and even occasionally use the colonel's questionable methods but we've never made up I haven't seen the colonel's office since we fell out 15 years ago. From the look of the exterior, the colonel's kept it up nicely. I knock on the door and it swings open. The place is trashed. He's dead. Yep. Oh. Well, oh. I guess I'm going to have to put off that trip to the Caribbean. <laughs> Maybe permanently. I. God, what happened? Who did this to you? A chameleon. Uh, he's some kind of shapeshifter. I swear he's the devil himself. What did he want? Why did he attack he's you? He's been stabbed in the fucking heart. <laughs> he found out I didn't. He tried to torture me and to tell him where it was. Yeah, he got impatient, stuck a knife in my chest. I must have passed out. I ain't enough sleep last night. Well, 
What was he looking for? <laughs> yeah. Cult wants it. They're planning a doomsday party. They're afraid whoever's got the chip might stop them. You're gonna have to find it and get it to Capricorn. Yeah, they know what to do with it. <sighs> but I don't know where to look. You gotta give me some help. Uh, there's no time. There's a disc by the bookcase. It's got information on the winter chip. It's Don't very, tell me, Tex. Very I hope to God you've learned something online. after all these years. <laughs> <laughs> I fly the colonel to the hospital, and the attendants rush him I into surgery, but won't tell me what his chances are. I know I should go and search the colonel's office for the disc he referred to, but I'm having a hard time keeping my eyelids popped open. I decide to go back to my office for a couple of hours of shut-eye. As I open the door, I catch a whiff of expensive perfume, then feel my jaw slam into a brick wall. When my vision clears, I'm seated across from a beautiful oriental woman with matching goons on either side of me. Oh, Good oriental. <laughs> Have a seat. Is ignorant insult going to be racism? I don't see how it wouldn't be. Well, who the hell are you and what are you doing in my office? You are either braver or more foolish than I thought. No one talks to Eddie Ching like that. Oh, she's Eddie Ching. You're Eddie Ching? Sorry, I didn't realize who you were. I like that tone of voice. Now sit down quietly and listen to me. Yes, mommy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> recording. <laughs> okay. If you promise not to let your large friends here break my legs. I'm glad you understand the situation, Mr. Murphy. I have learned that you were hired to steal a statuette for my apartment. I admire the skill you display in doing so, but I must now ask you to return the bird to me. Look, yeah. I swear, I swear on my mother's grave I don't have it. Someone mugged me last night and stole it. Please don't kill me. Please, I'll do anything, but don't <laughs> kill me! It's gone! <laughs> you imbecile! Have you no idea what you've done? You were set up! The person who hired you belongs to a group so powerful, they may hold the fate of the world in their hands. The statuette is worthless, except to this cult. And I went to great lengths to keep it from them. And all it took was one idiotic P.I. to give these fanatics the talisman they need to lose the demons of hell upon the earth. Okay. I'm sorry, who knew? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you obviously don't understand what I'm saying. With the statuette, the cult will fulfill its prophecies, unleashing an unimaginable flood of destruction. The prophecy is supposed to be fulfilled in six days. If the statuette is not recovered before then, nothing will matter. We'll all be dead. You seem to know a lot about this cult and were able to get the statuette in the first place. Why don't you send some of your goons out and clear up the problem? The cult knows about me. They tried several times to steal the statuette once they learned I had it. They will not allow me or my operatives to obstruct their plans. You, however, they do not consider to be a threat. The cult is behind the crusade for genetic purity. I don't know any more than what I've told you, except for the identity of the man who set you up. He is known as the Chameleon. If you can find him, you will be within reach of the statuette. You should realize that your blunder makes you responsible for 10 billion lives. Hope for your own sake that you can succeed where more powerful people cannot. Let this be a reminder to you not to repeat your mistakes. If you fail, I will see you in hell. So did he have the chip or not? I never found out. My usual methods of persuasion weren't working, so I had to get a little more forceful. 
Next thing I know, his lights go out. I think I killed him. Dead men don't help us. We've got to find out about that chip. If the Colonel didn't have the chip, then he probably sent it to Murphy. Stick around and keep tabs on him until the last second. But don't kill him. If the chip doesn't show up, make sure Murphy doesn't blunder into our path. If you find the chip, destroy it. Then you can do what you want with Murphy. That's the police chief, isn't it? I don't know. Well. A chode. What? Uh, maybe I need a career change. A chode? Two days in a row waking up in a semi-conscious stupor. I don't know how else anybody. to pronounce that. My nose is so sore, my eyes water when I inhale, and all my front teeth shift slightly when I exhale. On top of all this, I found out that the world population could be annihilated because of me. That's just too much guilt to heap on a guy at this hour of the morning. Looks like I'm on my own. I'll need to find that disc the Colonel referred to. And what about that Countess? Was she on the level or was she just feeding me a line? Have these cracks in the wall always been there? Uh, probably. <laughs> probably. There seems there's some furniture I just don't remember being there. What do you mean? The um. Turn to the left. Your left. <laughs> Was that cot always there? Yeah. Ah, okay. How can I help you, Tex? Uh, chameleon? Wish I could help you there, Tex. No. Are we supposed to find a guy who could be anybody? Sorry, Wait Mike. until the plot uh, puts him in front of you. I have to go to the Countess's mansion? Okay. Weird. Okay. There's something wrong with this picture. When I was here before, the place looked like a palace. Now it looks like the aftermath of an IRS auction. Somebody wanted me to believe the person I talked to was a real countess. Now I can see I've been played for a sucker. But who set me up and why? Ow! <laughs> Hello? There's a bald eagle perched yeah. On the now that the animal rights lobby is huge, bald eagles are everywhere. <laughs> They're worse than pigeons. The front door was open when I got here. The eagle must have flown in. Looks like it's got a bright cigarette case in its claws. I've heard that eagles are attracted to shiny objects. Jesus. Also, that's not what a bald eagle sounds like. No, that's like a... Um... These doors may have opened yeah. at one time, but they appear exactly to be permanently sealed shut. It's some kind of falcon. 
Oh. So, this is the only room. Huh. Searching through that fireplace could be a real pain in the ash. Uh, it's in my inventory. Uh. Well, that's not gonna work. No. <laughs> no, you're gonna. You're gonna end up like sticking that on the final boss, basically. Yeah. Probably. The ashtray's loaded with expensive imported cigarette butts. Get down on the floor and sift through the newspapers <laughs> for the pixel they want you to touch. Yeah. Oh my god. Why is the eagle so fucking loud? I don't know. It's, um... Why? Only the most what? callous criminal would be so careless with plant life. Why could you move that... like a foot to the left? I don't know. Jeez. Every fucking time. It it happens infrequently enough that you forget that it's gonna happen again. Yeah. Oh good, do I have to do another jigsaw puzzle? <laughs> Can you do it in a different room? <laughs> is is the eagle gonna scream at me while I do it? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Fuck it! <laughs> I forgot about the eagle! <laughs> Whoever that was that met me here the other night may have set me up, but I'll bet you didn't get her cleaning deposit back. Whoever that was that met me here the other This table must have So um Did Did it say we solved it? No. Okay, so Is it supposed to? Yes. Oh god. Oh, uh, I don't know. It, it okay. Does, it does not say. Okay. It, it says, assemble the message. It looks like this. Okay. Um. It's... Well, that's not gonna work. Oh, the eagle likes shiny things. Yeah, like... Like what? the gold foil I have. I like how <laughs> I like how it's animated. Yeah, I... they they like got an animator to <laughs> to draw a falcon. <laughs> Whoever that was, it meant me. Could they just not afford to hire a falcon or a, a eagle? Yeah, falconers are expensive. Looks like an expensive cigarette case. More than an animator? Yeah. <laughs> In 
their 90s. Yeah, you you could just pay an animator peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one cigarette left in the case. Maybe I'll keep it around for a smoking emergency. Okay, so the the <laughs> case wasn't a clue or anything. I just needed it for the cigarette. Adventure games. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Okay. And there's nothing special about the cigarette. Maybe there's more to this watch than meets the eye. What's this? The secret compartment. There's a secret compartment in the watch, but nothing in it. Um... We've got everything here. Okay. I don't know why I'm still leaving places manually when I know that there's a travel button that exists. For role playing. Yeah. Also, I need to stop getting close to things to interact with them because I can just interact with them anywhere in the room. But I've I've just been like, oh, I need to go interact with that. I'll move closer to it so I can do it. That I that does make a lot more sense. Yeah. This pure. Go back to the colonel's office. Oh, I need to go um, rifle through his shit. When I get to the colonel's office, the police are just leaving. They tell me they've combed the place and come up empty. I'm not surprised. As I step inside, I try to remember what the colonel told me. Something about a winter chip and an emergency disc hidden somewhere in the display case. Maybe the info on the disc will tell me something about this chameleon. All right. Looks like the, uh... What, this one? I wasn't talking about that one, but yes, also that one. Okay. She, <laughs> I guess she really Colonel likes... Has... <laughs> yeah. Colonel Go has ahead. Yeah, <laughs> Colonel has a weird thing for, like, forest women. <laughs> With bows. Specifically with with bows. Is it's it, just is it like supposed to be Amazonian, <laughs> kind of mythical like Amazonian. I mean, he said he was going to go to the Caribbean to frolic with tribal women or something. So. I don't know. A few cheap vases, some paperbacks, a couple of ornaments. Can't believe the colonel actually collects this worthless junk. Uh, well, let's go through his drawers. My PI instincts and keen sense of smell tell me that this envelope was sent by a woman of some kind. Oh, I accidentally... <laughs> Alright! Alright, take... I can smell the pheromones! <laughs> Milan Toad. That's gotta be an anagram. some sort of greeting card. I didn't realize that this text button turns on and off the subtitles. Uh. Because I'm nosy. Sp 
Banks and Kisses. Uh, sorry I haven't come by lately. Work has been hell. Trying to wrap things up before we head out to the tropics. I'll make it up to you when we get there. Nothing in any of the other drawers. A deluxe hydro dispenser. And I thought my water cooler was nice. Wow. Fancy pants. Okay, that's, let's see if there's... That's very a... weird. I, I did look up... Um, uh, if, if it was like an anagram for something. It isn't? It is. Oh. For a... Substitute for... Morphine and heroin, heroin addiction. Huh. Huh is right. Um, I I've I've heard of it before. I don't. What is it called? Methadone. Yep. Yep. Oh, nice looking dame. This must be the Colonel Squeeze. If I could try. Okay. Let's use his computer. Coming up. I'll need to load up a disk before I get any information off this computer. Oh, it needs a disk. Why? I've been in the 90s, and I've never seen a computer that beige before. <laughs> I gotta ask myself once more, does everybody in this town own a credenza? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what, what is his dialogue for the pictures? Well, the colonel certainly does like his calendar. Spicy. 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 Oh, nice bow. <laughs> Priorities. Yeah, you gotta cover it up for <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking about, like, if we play Phantasmagoria, that game has boobies in it and how I was gonna like censor the boobies oh how am I supposed to do this when there are no numbers on the dials <laughs> Probably. Just guess? I think you have to find the emergency disc and the winter chip first. Okay. There's supposed to be something about the display case, but I can't actually do anything. Oh. Wait. There was a pixel. found pixel I found pixel okay gonna slap the disk into the computer oh my god <laughs> did you see how much space that <laughs> had on it no how much <laughs> it was 600 kilobytes <laughs> <laughs> uh, in case anything happens to me, I made up this disc to give you enough of information to carry on in my place. Despite our past problems, I don't know who else could replace me. Since you're reading this, I suppose something has gone wrong, so now it's up to you. First of all, you've probably never heard of Capricorn. All you need to know is that it's a secret organization that infiltrates groups with pose a, a threat to society. That 
I can't. <laughs> Gas. I learned that there were secret experiments being done there. That the top people were members of cult. Relayed this information to Capricorn and learned that one of their agents was already there undercover. You know about the con uh, crusade for genetic purity and maybe about their religious retreat. The moon child, all appearances, it's a giant, a gigantic orbiting biosphere capable of holding hundreds of thousands of occupants. If, however, the moon child is armed with nuclear weapons, it could literally hold the world hostage from its vantage point. Capricorn wants the moon child destroyed. The cult at GRS is located, linked to the crusade. The undercover agent. Okay. This would have been a lot they more have interesting the... if, like, there was a character. Yeah, like, inspiration. like you like know, Colonel. you know what would be what would be cool is if he like made a video of himself like telling all of this information to Murphy and put it on the disc. But, yeah. but instead, it's all text. Uh, uh Eva Shanzi. Possibly the largest plot dump in this game, all done in a three pages of text. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have a name. She has the chip. Um, I think I'm done in here. Uh, you're probably not. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see what you got. Reading card envelope. Uh, the colonel's file cabinet. There you must be the some info in here. Emergency disc. Hmm. Locked. Um, I can't open the file cabinet, so. No, you got what you need here, actually. Okay. Milan Toad's apartment. Alley Cat Blues.